Hi guys, so I thought today I would show you how I used to do my makeup while I was an Emirates flight attendant. Um, now I know I'm not amazing with any of these things. To be honest, I used to have a really big interest in makeup, but as I've been getting older, I've completely lost interest. So I have been probably doing my makeup probably the same, roughly the same since I've been like 18, I think. Um, so. My skills have not developed like a lot of amazing um, <laughs> people out there who can do amazing things with their makeup. Um, I just kind of keep going with the same thing. This is just something that I used to do when I was obviously working at Emirates and even prior to wearing, um, working at Emirates. So I used a lot of the same products and things like that even when I went for the interview. Um, so if anyone is interested in how I did my makeup while I was working at Emirates, I hope this will help you. Um, so yeah. Again, I am not professional. I'm really not good at this at all. So please don't judge me based on my skill level. But I hope you guys will enjoy. So first things first, I always start with sunscreen. This one I'm using is just a Korean one. It's from Innisfree. But I make sure I put it all over my face. Next I use the MAC Paint Pot in Paintly and I just apply this all over my eyelids. My eyelids are a bit darker than the rest of my face skin so this just kind of, uh, skin, face skin? Oof. This just kind of uh, evens out my skin tone and just makes my eyeshadow go on nicer. Next I have my favourite foundation of all time which is the NARS Sheer Glow. I use it in Mont Blanc because I'm actually, my natural skin is quite pale even though when I was in Dubai I was pretty tanned um, which is why I will do the next step. I also do apply this with my fingers because um, when I actually bought the foundation the girl said the makeup artist told me that it's best if you do apply it with your fingers because it does come on and give it a lot more of a natural effect. So next I get my NARS Laguna Bronzer. As you can see, I have a running theme here. I do love NARS products. Now I did apply this all over my face while I was crew. It just helps the foundation stay on. And as I said, while I was in Dubai, I was a lot more tanned. So it actually made it match the same skin color as the rest of my body. But after living in Korea, obviously I've become quite a lot more pale. Next, I will get my blush and I use the NARS Orgasm Blush, which I just find absolutely beautiful. Then I use my highlighter and I use the Hourglass Highlighter. I can't quite remember the color and it has rubbed off so I can't read. Ambient lighting powder I think. Next I use the Naked Eye Shadow Palette, uh, Urban Decay Basics and I use, first I use the WOS beige color. Sorry I'm trying to find my million brushes here. So this is the WOS color right there. And I just apply that all over my lid. Now the thing about Emirates is they do want you to have very natural colors on your eyes and things like that. They don't want you to have red or purple or something that's going to really, really stand out and make you look like you're wearing a lot of makeup. So I would always do very simple eyeshadow. 
Then I just use the Naked 2 color in my crease, which I will show you in a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go fill my brows and do my eyelashes because I'm not going to be good at doing that on camera. Okay, so I have filled my eyebrows, I have done my winged eyeliner, and I have put on my mascara. Now one of the most important things to do was do the setting spray. You want to make sure that your foundation isn't going to be coming off and coming off on your white scarf. Next is the red lipstick. This is not the one I used while I was flying and it is also a completely different colour to what I would use. I would tend to use a blue red which was a bit darker and I feel like went with my skin a lot better. The Anastasia Beverly Hills and the Kylie Kit were my favourites. I would only have to apply, apply once or twice a flight which was absolutely amazing. An obvious hint for the interview here, I would say wear red lipstick, they want to see what you would look like in a uniform. So you don't want to go with an interview for getting that red lipstick. And we're finished!